Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of speaking with John Janke and he's the CEO of Tackle IO. Welcome, John. Gerhard, great to, great to be here. Thanks for having me. So you have been in the tech space uh, for a long time and uh, what I'd like you to do is give us sort of a bird's eye view of how you see the evolution of technology and particularly the market cloud space. You know, we see that evolving in different ways. Early In the early days, it was all about giving builders the tools they needed in order to build rapidly. Where today, you know, marketplaces have become much more of an aggregation point for budget and procurement to be able to streamline, you know, all aspects of buying and selling for their organization. And I think, you know, the pandemic has even further accelerated this revenue transformation where everyone in their consumer lives has shifted from e-commerce by for convenience to e-commerce by default. And in our business lives, you, you look at the way you work with partners and, and you say, it feels like I'm going back in time in, in some ways. And I think, you know, the marketplace transformation is now leading towards more of this digital selling transformation where sellers, you know, sellers will, I think, always exist because people want to engage with experts to help them determine what they need to solve their problems. But the way that they engage will change and people will look for more digital experiences to guide both the selling and buying process in the future. So how would you explain uh, to your kids uh, what does AWS and Azure and GCP and Red Hat, what do they have in common? What do they do? I like to say, you know, no one wants to build software to sell software and Tackle exists to help eliminate the need to do that. And what AWS, Azure, GCP, and Red Hat all have in common is they offer platforms for people to run companies. And it takes a lot to run a company these days. It's not just infrastructure. It's not just, you know, by computer, by storage. You know, every new service that's being built is a combination of first party services offered oftentimes by the infrastructure clouds, as well as third party software. And people want to get to their outcomes as fast as possible. Who are your uh, three biggest companies? Yeah, I mean, we work with companies of all shapes and sizes. So on the large side, companies like VMware, uh, Salesforce, and Cisco, and Dell um, are, are customers of ours. Uh, we work with seed stage startups who are looking to build their go-to-market kind of cloud marketplace native. And then, you know, really where we've seen the most success is with the growth stage companies who are looking to really scale out their go-to-market systems and are looking for pathways to buyers. Uh, so tell me your vision about the, the digital experience that uh, your customers get through Tackle. We are a seller focused company. We focus on software companies. And, you know, for us, we try to make marketplace a business decision versus a product and engineering problem. And that helps people list and get to their desired outcome of selling through these cloud marketplaces as fast as possible. And beyond that, like when it comes to scale, we try to give people the best practices for how to scale. Like how are those who are succeeding with marketplacing, marketplaces succeeding and what can they learn in order to accelerate their time to value? Because our ultimate customer success for us is not listing in a marketplace like listing is the starting line it's not the destination selling is the desired outcome so we really measure our our success when our customers get to their success which is ultimately selling through these platforms so how do you uh, develop a sales organization that embodies that culture and uh, delivers that value to the customer for us we try to think about you know selling being that destination so you need a plan to initiate your marketplace selling, like list, start selling. And that means you're probably going to have some specialized people who focus on that problem in order to build the pattern that you can then teach your broader organization with. So you just raised a uh, hundred million dollars. How does that make you feel? It's a humbling moment. It's uh, exciting. It can be a little terrifying. Um, and we always just try to stay laser focused on our customer. The thing that I'm most excited about with this additional capital is we can just continue to invest in helping our customers get to their outcome. We, we wanna set the pace of innovation 
around digital selling. And this capital gives us a chance to do that. And it's an exciting time, but there is a lot of work to do. Uh, so much to build, so much. Uh, we're, we're always hiring. You know, the team is scaling tremendous. I would imagine that you learn a lot from your big customers like VMware, Dell, and Salesforce.com. It has been a nonstop learning journey, not just, uh, you know, for me personally, as a first time CEO, the CEO job is a tremendous learning journey, but from every single one of our customers as, as they think about about evolving their go-to-market. And I, I think you know, the cost of acquiring customers is the number one expense in every software company. And that hasn't been optimized. In the future, you know, there's a great chance to think about optimizing the way customers are acquired. And you know, that's something we think a lot about. What's the future product roadmap look like for Tackle? We're thinking a lot about how to make it easier for buyers to understand the options available to them to buy. So most buyers discover via content, via a seller's website. And when you land on those pricing pages, it's like, where do I go? You most of the time find your way to the contact sales button, which just perpetuates the need to, you know, have salespeople assigned quota, which turn into a bunch of headcount focused on solving customer problems. If you want to evolve that to a digital experience, you need to be able to present those options to buy in the places that buyers discover. So we're thinking about how can we make it easier for the marketplaces to show up as options in places where buyers discover. So that's another big part of our product roadmap in the future. Awesome. How can people learn more about Tackle? Where should they go? Yeah, you can go to Tackle.io and there's tons of content. We, we really try to be a very customer focused company. So we publish our favorite stories, our stories about our customers and their success. So we try to publish content about that and demystifying the way that marketplaces work, uh, as well as you can learn a little bit about our products or get in touch with our team there. Wonderful. Thank you, John, on your great success. And um, I, I hope that uh, three years from now, we Going to have another interview with uh, you announcing IPO. That would be great. Thanks so much for having me.